We'll find out. And we're going to have a pinch hitter, Josh Van Meter, is going to hit for Farmer. Van Meter is a left handed hitter. So this is Van Meter. Van Meter is a rookie. Just called up. Van Meter will be followed by the leadoff man Joey Votto and then Eugenio Suarez, the top two hitters in the lineup. Oh, one pitch is popped up. Chapman down the line, under it, got it. One out in the ninth. Now batting, number 19, Joey Votto. So here's Joey Votto. A big challenge for Mike Fires. You were going to have a test at any point in time during the ball game. Joey Votto is going to present a very, very tough test. Votto is 0 for 3. First pitch, a little bit low. He thought he had tied the game in the sixth inning, so did we. Ramon Laureano went up over the wall. It took a home run away from Votto. Strike on the inside corner, 90 miles an hour. Perfectly placed by Fires. And they wanted away. Caught the black on the inner half. And Votto able to hold up on a pitch that was close. Would have been a high strike. Well, again, the bread and butter of Mike Fires has been able to move this fastball around tonight, especially at the top of the zone. Three and one. Pitches a strike. Took a little off. A change up on 3 1. He got the call. Well, that's my point about not babying it or being convicted with your decision making. 3 1, 2 nothing lead. Easy to say, I just need to come in with a fastball here. Heck of a lot easier said than done. Great job by Mike Byers to stay with his game plan. Payoff pitch to Votto. Here it is. Olsen's got it. Olsen will take it himself. Two outs in the ninth. A battle with Joey Votto, and it's won by Mike Fires. And now it all comes down to Eugenio Suarez, a right handed hitter. Eugenio Suarez. Everybody on their feet in the stands and in both dugouts. Suarez, 0 for 2 with a walk. First pitch right in there for a strike. Fires jumps ahead. 127 pitches for Mike Fires. Down the right field line, and it's going to reach the seats. And now it's 0 and 2. Drama at the Oakland Coliseum. Fires, kicks, 
and deals the 0 2 pitch. Fastball is high. He baited the hook, trying to get the fish to bite. One-two pitch, and again a little bit high, and Suarez checks his swing. So the count even at two and two. Cincinnati Reds sensational performance by the A's right hander Mike Fires. Wow. Dallas Braden, you can now take a breath. I was worried about you. Incredible! <laughs> Simply incredible! An amazing effort by Mike Fires and Josh Fedley tonight. Behind the dish and on the mound. That battery was supercharged. Two walks, six strikeouts, and 131 pitches. For Mike Fires. So this is how it ended. He got Suarez swinging on that big curveball. That's right. 2 2 after Suarez spit on the fastball. And who better to put a bow on the party than Uncle Charlie himself? There's your final pitch. So back to back seasons, the Oakland A's get a no hitter. Manaya last year and Mike Fires this year. Awesome. So let the celebration begin. And well deserved. Can you explain that feeling at all to us, Dallas? I wish I could. You can't really feel anything at that moment in time. You appreciate the fans. You appreciate your teammates. And you just kind of soak up your moment on this rock just for today. Isn't it strange on a night when well, the light tower is out. We don't even know if we're going to play this game. Doesn't start till 8:45, and then it does start. And history is made by Mike Fires again. 131 pitches, a couple of walks in the seventh inning. The only two walks. It, I wouldn't say it ever looked like he got tired. I mean, how can you get tired, right, with all the momentum? But uh, Mike Fires, a no hitter. <laughs> It's cold, but it's probably not that cold. So Kara's downstairs, so she's going to interview the hero. No hitter. Mike Ooh. Fires, take it away, Kara. Incredible. Ducked out of the way just in time. Mike, how are you feeling right now? Oh, I'm just glad they got those lights working. <laughs> wow. Uh, that could have been a bummer. You made the way worth it. That's all we can say. Right, fans? Made it worth it. Appreciate you guys for staying here. Uh, you know, we always try to put on a show for you guys. You always, you guys always show up and uh, you know, get loud for us. So thank you. At what point during the game did you realize that you were throwing a no-no? Uh, I knew. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't like when guys say they're not. They don't know. Uh, you usually know. You don't want to think about it a little bit, a little bit, uh, little bit later. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I, 
I knew. <laughs> and you said, put me back in. I got this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I had to, had to tell Bob, uh, you know, I'm good. Um, he was he was talking to me. He was looking out, you know, for my health. But, um, you know, I'm just glad he stuck with me. What can you say about your defense? A couple of amazing catches. Ramon Laureano, sixth inning, incredible. Well, Ramon's catch, he's done that once or twice. So that, that's a normal play for him. Uh, you know, pro far, another you know, amazing play. Um, man, Fagley calling a great game, sticking with me as well. Uh, it was just a well-played ball game. I mean, we, we fought it out, and uh, we won the game. So that's, that's the big part. And I know you've thrown a no-no before, but how does it feel to join this elite club here in Oakland as an athletic? <laughs> Uh, it's, it's fun, man. I, I love playing here. I love playing in front of these fans, and I love playing for these guys here. It's, it's amazing. Delayed game or not, something was working tonight, Mike. Congratulations. You can celebrate with your teammates. We'll see you back here later this homestead. Great job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, back up to you.